Hello, today's tutorial is going to be about these things that attach to lenses, lens hoods. Hello lovely people, I am Mark Newton from the School of Photography and today I'm going to explain everything you need to know about lens hoods. The questions I get asked all the time are, what are lens hoods for? What do they do? Do I need one? When do I use one? What lens hoods do I get for my lens, etc. So hopefully I can answer all of those questions for you now. Let's get started. These are lens hoods here. They attach to the front of your lenses. And the main reason you use a lens hood is to stop stray light coming into your lens, which can create what's called lens flare. This normally happens when shooting directly into the sun or when you have a strong light source in front of the lens. Let's look at a couple of examples. So here we have a picture here that's been taken with no lens hood um, shooting into the sun, which has created a lens flare, which you can see coming in from the top left of the screen. You can also see here a little circle there and that is actually uh, the light reflecting off the elements of the lens inside, inside your actual lens. And here, the next one, there's a lens hood on the lens which has shielded the light and it's stopped the lens flare. If you look at the top here, there is no longer any lens flare. And what you can also see is a lot more contrast in the picture. So if you look especially into the blacks around here, let's go back to the other one. Look at the difference in the contrast between the blacks and the whites of both images. So I'm gonna show you how a lens hood blocks light by using a torch and a lens hood here. As I move the torch across the lens, what you can see is a shadow going along the bottom. And that's the lens hood doing its job. The lens hood is blocking the light hitting the front of the lens and if I went a bit further around now the light is hitting the lens and that's what's going to create your lens flare that there so the lens hood is primarily for blocking light hitting the front of your lens so that's the main reason to use a lens hood to shield the lens from unwanted light and it's to create a stronger contrast of colors and tones in your images so when should you use a lens hood? Well, you should have a lens hood on all of the time, I think, even if you're inside or even at night time, as you will get stray light um, going in front of the lens from you know, lights, street lights or whatever. Um, and it just give your image much more contrast if you've got a lens hood on. Another tip here is to always keep your lens clean. This will increase contrast and avoid lens flare too. So that's another quick tip for you. Lenses clean at all times. Now there are two exceptions to this rule and here they are. When you actually want to create lens flare, so let's go back to the pictures that I showed you earlier. Now if you look at this shot here, I actually used lens flare on purpose to get this effect. Um, and as you can see, the warmth is coming in from the top left corner of the frame. Therefore, I shot into the sun to get that effect. So there's one reason why you would not use a lens hood. Another exception is when you are using the pop-up flash on your camera. As the pop-up flash will come up here, the light will come off the flash and it will cast a shadow from your lens hood here. And what you'll see is in the bottom of your picture, you'll see a big shadow. So don't use a lens hood if you're using the pop-up flash on your camera. If you've got a flash gun, the big flash gun, then it's fine. So now let's talk about what types of lens hoods you can get. It breaks down into two types mainly, and it's the petal type here and the cylinder type here. These are the petal type ones with the bits cut out here. And the petal type hoods are used on your standard zoom lenses, the ones that go to a wider angle. Now this is because if you didn't have these bit cut out, you just had a cylinder hood on one of these. When you zoomed out at wide angles, what you would see is black corners in your picture. 
which isn't a good look. To put this to the test, put your lens, your zoom lens on its widest angle, look through the viewfinder and then move your hand forward adjacent to the lens and you'll see the hand appear in the corners just like this. And there's my hand and there's not my hand. And that is because it's in the corner of the cutout bits of the petal lens hood. So that's why these bits are cut out so you don't see the lens hood at wide angles. Then you have these types of lens hoods, which are cylinder ones, and they're made for fixed focal range lenses, or sometimes they're called prime lenses. Uh, here's a prime lens here. This is an 85 mil prime lens. And what you can see on the top here um, is one of these cylinder uh, lens hoods. Now these can be cylinders because they don't need to zoom out. These lenses are fixed to a particular focal length. So the hoods can be made to go to the exact point where you won't see the hood in the image. Another thing people ask is what lens hoods do I get for my lens? Is it one size that fits all kind of scenario? The answer to that is simple. It's no, one size doesn't fit all. You have to get the lens hood for your particular lens. For instance, here I have a Canon 24 to 105 zoom lens, and here I have a Canon 16 to 35 zoom lens, and they both need different lens hoods. And the reason for this is the circumference of the front of the lens is different. Um, this one is 77 mil, this one's 82 mil, so they won't fit on each, each lens. And also they zoom out at wider angles, which means that these petals that are cut out of the corners of the lenses, they need to be further back on the wider angle lenses. Now this doesn't mean that you need to get a branded lens hood for your lens. For example, you don't need to get a Canon lens hood for a Canon lens. You can get different makes of lens hoods for different lenses. It just needs to be for the same model, if you like. So the 24 105 type needs a lens hood for the 25 105. At the end of the day, they're only plastic, so it doesn't really matter, I don't think. And lastly, here's how to transport and store your lens hoods. All you do is you twist it so it comes off like that, turn it over like this, turn it back on, it locks in, and you're ready to go. Easy as that. Well, I hope that's helped you out and answered those lens hood queries that you might have. If you like this tutorial, then please like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or anything you want us to cover here at the School of Photography, put it in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. We'd also like you to join our photography learning community on social media. So make sure you follow us on your preferred social media site. Thanks for watching and remember, learn more at the School of Photography.